He was being evicted from his house and in the process ended up losing his life. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes explains this unusual story tonight. At first glance, this home looks like it's in the middle of a construction project, maybe even a renovation, but that's not at all what was going on. That was actually their porch that was taken down and they took the skirt off and all of that stuff. Sean Young says her neighbors on Grizzard Avenue did all of this so they could move their house to a different place because they had been evicted. They've known that they were supposed to be out by the 31st since the beginning of October. Clearly that didn't happen. So Thursday morning, a pair of sheriff's deputies showed up at their door. They served father and son with an eviction notice and 31 year old Filiberto Lopez Jr. didn't like that. Police say he became combative and had to be handcuffed. That's when things took a turn for the worse. We're going to switch out the handcuffs. Uh, the report was that the man appeared to go into a seizure, and then when he came out of the seizure, he appeared to be more combative. Paramedics say Lopez was uncontrollable, so he had to be sedated. In the process, he went into cardiac arrest. He was taken to the hospital where he ended up dying. He was from Chicago and he stayed here longer than he was supposed to because he broke his foot. Sean Young says she saw the two often and even talked to them about moving to a different place, never imagining one day she would wake up and one of them would be gone. I didn't really know the son well. I knew the dad better, but that's sad. In Nashville, Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5 HD. We contacted Holiday Village, the mobile home park where this happened, to find out more about the circumstances of this eviction, and they have not returned our call.